and it's time to get underway in the recurve women's individual. It's time to meet the first semi-final pairing. On target number one, representing Korea, Ansan. On target number two, representing Germany, Katarina Lauer. Well, there are the athletes. I'm Karen Bashir, and I'm joined by Dutch Olympian Chef Vandenberg. Chef, what a session we've got to look forward to here. Yeah, we are uh, looking forward to a session full of uh, Koreans and the European champion, the reigning European champion, is it? So um, this uh, this will be a good one. It certainly will be. And we've got uh, a situation here where Katharina Bauer has already qualified on points along with uh, the two athletes from Chinese Taipei who aren't appearing here. So this is a real tussle between uh, Anne and the other two Koreans in the other semi-final. Choi Mi Sun's already qualified, but not in the final four. Can the German spoil the Korean party? And San will get this semi-final underway. Where are they? It's just textbook technique from uh, Ansan. It's uh, it's lovely to watch. Katarina maybe not so textbook but still very solid in her uh, in her technique. As Ansan gets this first set underway with a 2-0 lead as Katarina cannot shoot an 11 on this shot. 3 nines for a 27 for Bauer and just like that and San goes 2 nil up as Chef Vandenberg says Chef just give everyone a refresher on the scoring system for recurve individual competition. Yeah, recurve archers uh, use the set system, which means that they shoot three, arrow, three arrows per set. Um, the highest score of that set gets awarded two points, two set points. Uh, a draw will get you one set point, and the first archer to get at least six set points wins the match. Get a good look at that technique from the triple Olympic champion and history maker, Anne San. Yeah, and Katharina doesn't have a bad technique herself, but uh, there is a little bit of a difference in the, in her line work. You can see that her back elbow isn't quite getting as far back as the uh, elbow of Ansan. Uh, it has a little bit to do with your body composition, but it also has to do with uh, just simply technique. Breakthrough season for the 26-year-old Bauer. She's got a team gold this season. Tour on the Highland Archery World Cup, plus two team silvers, individual bronze as well. As uh, Chef mentioned, European team champion at 2022. But she's behind here, Katharina about to get set number two underway and has to come from behind against Dan San. It looked like a lovely shot, it looked much more active in her in her extension and uh, the release was just smooth as butter. And Ansan has a great group, a little bit low and a little bit to the right, but that's the only thing you can really say about it because it's it's quite good. So here you get a nice view of that elbow just slowly moving behind the line of the arrow making it easier, uh, technically speaking, to hold the draw weight of the bow without having too much too much tension on the muscles. Bit of pressure on Ansan here. A 10 to share the points. And it's just clipped the line for a 28, so uh, all square in the set, which means Ansan maintains her two-point lead. 
3-1, halfway to the target score of six points for the win. So far this season, we've seen Bryony Pittman take a stage win in Antalya, Choi Sun in Korea in Guangzhou, and Agu Utanu of Japan winning in Paris. The stage winners automatically qualify for the finals. And so here we have a final four that doesn't include a stage winner. Someone of these four is going to book their place in the finals in Mexico in October. Yeah, all is up for grabs here. And uh, I think all of these four archers uh, uh, feel like they have a shot at the gold medal. Um, so yeah, it'll be very exciting to see who uh, walks away with it. And there's a real tussle in that Korean team as well, as always with the quality of uh, their archery. Uh, they've already got one in in Choi Mi Sun, having one in Guangzhou, and three in the finals here, in the final four. Who is going to claim that second Korean spot? Because you can only send two from one nation to the finals. Bauer still trailing, but he's on the scoreboard now. It's time for set number three. such a, a good shot uh, from Katarina but also from the cameraman it was a, a lovely shot to have an overhead to see uh, just how uh, all of the lines in the shoulders and in the arms uh, just have to be one big uh, picture both have their foot on the gas right now. And that's the first arrow we've seen go out of the gold this final. The big opportunity for Ansan to get this set. Yeah, she does it with a perfect score as well to go 5-1 up. You blink and you'll miss it. A super fast individual competition both compound and recurve the set system recurve archery can finish before the regulation number of sets yeah it it, it can uh, because technically speaking you only need nine arrows if you uh, win all three of the sets um, in the uh, the longest case you need 16 arrows or even more if the shoot off is a tie so uh, uh, I'm sure that Katarina wants to shoot at least 15 arrows in this match now yeah Regulation of five sets as we take a look back over the third. The situation here for Bauer now is that uh, she has got to win the next two sets. And San, a triple Olympic champion, all she has to do is match the scores that Bauer puts down to get the one set point she needs for victory. Yeah, so if she shoots another one of those 30s that she just did, um, she wins the match regardless of what Katarina Bauer shoots. So uh, yeah, she uh, really has has the control in this match right now. Time to return to the shooting line. And Germany's Katarina Bauer giving herself a little pep talk there. She knows she's got to put down a big score to put Anne San under some kind of pressure. Again, matching arrow for arrow. I like that um, uh, Oliver Haydn, the coach of Katarina, was uh, very specific in where that arrow landed. He didn't just say, that's a 10, you did a good job. He said, that's a 10.2 at 8 o'clock. So <laughs> he's very specific in the, in, in the information that he's giving her. And that must have been something that they uh, have either decided together or have practiced. And San doing what she needs to, though, and matching Bauer. Can Bauer get a perfect score? and put some pressure on the Korean. So, a 29, a 9, 4, 
Victory in semi-final number one. And a nine is what Ann Sang gets. Just enough to do the job. She takes the first semi-final over Katarina Bauer by six points to two. That was a very high level match, especially from Ansan. I think she shot a 29 average, which uh, some quick calculation would translate to 348 points in the qualification round, or 696 if you uh, add that up to a full 720, uh, which is higher than the world record. So this uh, just uh, shows you how good she is actually shooting uh, in, in a place like uh, this finals venue.